Hello, Angie Talks family members. This is your 21st century virtualness. I've been doing a video about macro and micronutrients. With the macronutrients, I talked about carbohydrates, good fats, and protein. So I'm going to briefly do a quick video about the carbohydrates. The main, the five main food groups. Carbohydrate is included in the five main food groups. Most of the time you hear people saying no carbs, no carbs. So is carbohydrates really good for us? These foods are good source of nutrients, energy, and fiber and should make up just over a third of your diet. That is the carbohydrates. So what are they? What are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are sugars that come in two forms simple and complex and they are simply they, they are simply referred to as sugars and starches that is what it is and then what do they do as one of the five main food groups they provide our bodies with energy that is calories to function the five main food groups are fats good fat protein carbohydrates minerals and vitamins i will do a video on all of those we need them in our balanced diet dietary uh, dietary sources the simple carbohydrates are fructose that is fruit sugar sucrose table sugar lactose milk sugar and glucose and then sweets and sugary pop and then the complex are the starch starchy that is bread flour rice pasta potatoes corn breakfast cereals and the like and then they are high source of calcium iron and b12 b12 as well what's the difference between simple and complex carbohydrates the difference is in how fast it's it is digest and absorb so when you eat anti carbohydrate that is the simple one it absorbs quickly and it raises your blood sugar that's what i'm talking about when i talked about a blood sugar roller coaster which i have a lot of videos to make and then another difference is their chemical structures the simple and the complex chemical structures that's the difference how much should i be consuming 33% starchy carb, carbs and then the total, your total carbs including the sugars should be 50%. So 33%, if you are eating carbohydrate, 33% at least should come from the complex one. That is, it steadily absorbs in your blood sugar and keeps your blood sugar balanced. It doesn't shoot it, absorbs so quickly and then give you a crash later. Unused carbohydrates, when you overdo it, you eat too much carbohydrates, like the simple ones, It's your body doesn't use it. It uses what it needs, and the rest, or the ones, the remaining that is not needed, it's, it's called unused. So unused carbohydrate is stored in the liver and muscles. Remember, carbohydrates' main function in the body is to provide energy. So if the rest that are not used, is they are stored in the liver and muscles mostly, sometimes in our cells and brain too. The excess carbohydrate, when full, is stored as fats. That's why when you want to lose weight, you have to check your the quantity of food you eat. Too little carbohydrate will cause weakness, poor concentration, and constipation. So you need to have a balanced one should your your diet should be balanced do carbohydrate cause fattening gram for gram carbohydrate con contain less than half as many calories as fat the cooking methods affect the calorie content of carbohydrate foods similar to adding fats and oils to taste so it depends on how much you take the gram for gram and how you cook it your method of cooking so don't so do not anybody tell you carbohydrates are bad for us 
This is Angie, your 21st century virtualness, and the page name is Angie Talks on Facebook and Angie Talks 1 TV on YouTube. Have a lovely day, family. See you again.